Well, the relief of Yeh Pulu tells about the life of the king of Bedahulu before he passed away during the battle against Majapahit royal troops. Hi everyone, how are you today? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm currently at the one of historical heritage in the form of beautiful reliefs known as Yeh Pulu, located at Bedulu village, Gianya Regency, Bali. It's around 27 kilometers from Denpasar city and it takes about 60 minutes drive from Denpasar to get here. Let's come inside and see how beautiful it is. The relief of Yeh Hulu was discovered in 1925 by a courtier of the Ubud Kingdom. And you can see also the detail of the relics here. Well, the relic is divided into five scenes carved relics in the cliff at the Rice Paddy site, which is located next to the Patano River. The length of the river, everyone, from north to the south is 26.50 meter and has 3 meter height. Moreover, everyone, the relief tells us about daily life in the jungle, which characters are stiffly carved and leaf ornaments are used or locally known as pepatran serbaikal. And based on the story and shape of the relief, estimated that it was made in around 14th to 15th century. So everyone, Yeh Pulu is an ancient monument to commemorate King Bedahulu who died during the battle with Majapahit Kingdom long time ago. During the Dutch colonial era, this ancient cultural was researched, promoted and became part of the ancient cultural heritage in 1929. Well, the name of Yeh Pulu comes from the word Yeh means water and Pulu means barrel. So basically, Yeh Pulu is a barrel of water. This name, everyone, was taken since in this area there is a barrel and a source of water. Furthermore, in the past, everyone, this barrel was a rice storage located in the water source or spring water to the west of this area. And until now, the spring water is purified. And now I'm standing in front of the holy spring water. Well, the relief of Yeh Pulu tells about the life of the king of Bedahulu before he passed away during the battle against Majapahit royal troops. Besides everyone, those carvings also describe in detail the life of the community, especially religious life in Hindu culture. Well everyone, like I said before, Yehpulu reliefs contain five scenes. So the first one you can see here, this is shows a standing man with his right hand rise up while the other ones on the left hand is placed on his hip.
Well, we moved to the second relief. So, this is a relief in the form of woman wearing a clothes. He walked in front of a man who was carrying two pots. Those are two pots and they walk towards a house whose door was open. Third, there is a relief in the form of a man bringing a hoe and he stood in front of a woman sitting on a rock as for beside him there was a woman standing with her back to hermit and you can see there the hermit wore a headband turban fourth there is a relief that picks a man riding a horse see in front of him there were two men who were attacked by a tiger. The right hand of one of them was bitten by a tiger, and his leg was trying to ward off the tiger. And the last scenes you will find the relics depicts two men carrying two hunted animals. And on the other side, you will see a woman is also depicted holding the tail of a horse ridden by a man. And at the end of the scene, you will find this one, Ganesha Fijer, sitting in the nest. And also everyone, you will find multiple nests, and this is a place for meditation of the king. So, such a very beautiful place, isn't it? Well, I'm Anakagumi Yumais, see you on the next video.